Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. We have a whole lot of projects going on, but uh, one really important one is happening this week, and that is the homestead is getting our first hive of bees. We've got to build a stand for them so that we can receive that beehive when it comes. I went over to my scrap wood pile and I found, I think all the pieces that we're going to need for this. What we want is a 10 foot long uh, stand that way we can ultimately hold four hives on there at the same time. We want it to stand about 12 inches off the ground and we're gonna use two by sixes as the main supports for it. All right, so I've got almost all of my cuts here. I've got these two long boards. They're sitting right at 10 feet long. I've got eight of these four by four treated posts. This was the only thing that I didn't have already uh, in my little stockpile. So I had to go out and buy one of these. Uh, but these are sitting at what, 18 and a half inches. And then I've got two of these guys, which are the overall width of the total stand and that's going to be 20 and three quarters inches and then i've got one of these which is 17 and three quarters inches now that may seem like a bit of an odd size but the actual frame of a beehive the standard beehive is 17 and 11 16 which is just shy of 17 and three quarters so the thought is that if we build this in such a way that we can take the frames out we can set them right down inside the stand. That way we don't have to set them on the ground or tilt them up or anything like that. They can be sitting in their natural position. So we've got a couple more cross supports. So we'll cut uh, two more of these at 17 and three quarters inch. Right, that should be all of our cuts, uh, but now we should just be able to tack this all together. We'll start with our end piece and this is gonna go on the outside and tack just like that, making sure that the top stays nice and level with each other. So now that we've got our overall rectangle, should be 123 inches or so. Uh, so our center point should be right at 61 and a half right here. And this is where we'll tack up our two by six.
I feel like we're making really good progress here. So we've got our entire frame built and the center supports tacked in and installed. Now it's time for our leg posts. We've got eight of these total. So we'll have four and four. Uh, we'll put these about every 40 inches and that should give us a nice balanced uh, weight ratio across the entire support system. Okay, got all eight posts tacked on to uh, our frame. They're pretty solid, but uh, yeah, I just used a little piece of scab board just to make sure that they were flush with the top. Now we can just flip it over and move it to where we're going to, uh, to get it all set up. All right, friends, here we have our apre B stand. Hopefully that'll work out real well. Uh, looking forward to getting some bees on the property, learning all about how that, uh, that works and, and learn how to maybe grow some of our own honey. Um, that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, my father-in-law has been doing it for a while. He's had a lot of success and uh, he's offered to, to make sure that we know what we're doing and bring some bees over for us. So. All right, well, that's about all the time that I've got for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, hit the thumbs up, let me know that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing so you can see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Hi, what's up? Not much. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. This is where they're going to live. This is where they're going to live. Is that work? Yeah. I see the dogs. Can you hear? I see the dogs too.